the effect of shell operation in my community and me and my family is so, so negatively impacted on my life because my dream has been dashed. Because this is the only hope I had and the only valuable thing I inherited from my father. What my father was doing before his death was fish farming. And when he died, I inherited the fish farm. I decided to put in fingerlings to see how I can continue the business and take care of my family. Now, unfortunately for me, this oil spill occurred in 2005 and destroyed the whole fish ponds, the economic trees and the farmlands. There is no farm work there. All the farmlands there are polluted. A vast area of land are polluted. No source of drinking water again. We can't eat very well again, as I'm talking to you like this. I feed from hand to mouth. The land that my wife will have ordinarily farmed, we cannot farm any longer. I cannot even access good health facilities where I'll be taking care of myself. Sometimes I laugh when uh, uh, Shell begin to argue that uh, there is no evidence to show that uh, I have some health implications. After 2000, from 2005 down, go and check the record. The death rate is so, so high. Miscarriage is so high. Sickness is so high. Poverty. Today, I've come to be a beggar. Do you know what it means to be begged from somebody? And that is why I strongly hope and I strongly believe in the Dutch court system. And I have trust. And that is what, that hope is what my children, my family, all those who are depending on me, I believe in them. And this case is our life. And that is what we believe in.